5 redstone circuits you must know. Number 1. The T flip flop is one of the most used redstone circuit in the game. The most simplest version of a T flip flop is just a simple lever. Now the basis of a T flip flop is that when you flick it once, it will turn on, flick it again and it will turn off. So it acts a bit like a lever. And really you could say a lever is a T flip flop. Now onto actual redstone designs themselves, this is just a simple T flip flop because it toggles it on and then toggles it off. Very simple. And this other design is a dropper hopper design and this is another T flip flop. Very simple designs. Now these can be used in different farms and other machines such as 3x3 pits and doors and also tree farms as well and many other different machines. Number 2. The redstone clock is one of the most useful redstone contraptions just because it's so versatile. So we'll start off with this redstone clock. So this one's really fast compared to clock. Now I don't use this one too much because sometimes it's a bit too fast even though this one could still be useful now and then. Now we've got the one which I use the most which is this observer clock if I turn it on. It's very fast and it's quite a modern redstone contraption with all the observers and everything. Then we've got a classic, the EFO hopper clock. This clock allows you to set how many items are inside the hopper and this will determine how long the clock runs for. This clock is really useful because you can customize it. So you can set the clock to like 30 seconds and it will time down to 30 seconds. And if you didn't know, this is designed by EFO. I'll have a link in the description to his video. Now, if you're wondering what redstone clocks are used for, they're pretty much used in everything, really. They're used in tree farms. I'll have an example popping up right now. Now, number three, the pulse extender is one of those redstone contraptions that's quite useful. Really, all the redstone contraptions in this video are quite useful anyway. But this has a special place because I use it so much. So now this is the basic pulse extender design and if you don't know how they work pretty much what they do is they extend the pulse. So the pulse stays on for a bit longer than the lever being turned off. And you can get many other designs so this one's a modified version of Ethos Hopper Clock made by Code Crafted. This one's one that I've been used for years until I came up with a new one and I've got this design which I came up with randomly. I'm not too sure if anyone else has come up with this design but if they have then make sure to leave a comment down below so I can add them into the description. This design essentially is just all you're doing is updating this piston and the pulse extender is the same sort of system as the clock over there and you're able to set how many items are inside and this will determine how long the pulse stays on and then we've got another design now this design is quite good because it's pretty much silent and if you didn't know this design is made by Cortisarino I hope I said his name right but this is his design and it's very good I added some composters on top for lag optimization number four these are all piston extenders you can get lots of different types of piston extenders but the main one I'm focusing on is the double piston extender and also the triple piston extender. So this is a very simple and very old school double piston extender. This is the one which I use the most and it's probably one of my favourite ones. So it uses an observer. This design also works downwards and also upwards too. Now onto a triple piston extender. Now if you don't know, this is designed by Methods. And this is such an awesome triple piston extender. It's really compact and really nice. It's probably one of my favorite triple piston extenders just because of how cool it looks and the fact that it's tileable as well. If you want more detail about this design, then make sure to check the description down below for Method's design. It's a very cool design and I definitely advise checking it out. And I'll show you what it looks like when using it. Number five. Next, we're going to move on to zero tick pulse generators. So these redstone machines are very, very useful because zero tick pulses are used in a lot of machines, especially in like conveyor belts. Now, there's a way to check if it's a zero tick pulse, and that's if you get a block like there and a block down here and a armor stand. Now, if I trigger this, as you can see, the block went on the armor stand and didn't cause the armor stand to move at all. Now, here's another design, and if I put a block down. There you can see it's a zero tick pulse generator and this design is the conveyor belt design so this one's used in tons and tons of block conveyor belts i've seen lots of different people like il mango use it and stuff like that and i've actually used it myself as well it's very simple i'll just place down the block and show you so what's actually happening is this block when i'm placing it is getting powered which is powering this redstone dust which is powering this block up here now this block is powering this piston but then also quasi powering this sticky piston so piston's able to push quite fast. And I was able to make this really cool piston feed tank with it as well. It's quite loud, but it's pretty cool. Now, if you'd like to learn more about these sort of redstone contraptions, I've got a video on the right, which will show you how to build a T flip flop. That's one of the redstone contraptions I went through in this video. And it's a very important one as well. So make sure to check out that video. 